we ain't gonna hear ourselves? Nah, you don't have to. All right, fuck you then. And we on here live with Fizz. It's recording? Yeah. It's fucking piece of shit ass nigga. Hey, yo, this is my guy right here. All right, everybody. It's your boy, My Wand. Yeah, I'm here with, I want to say, the king of Long Beach, the son of Long Beach. Hello. Cutthroat, Joey motherfucking Fats. Hello. What's up, Joey? Nothing much, Mr. Tafik. You know what I mean? We you up know, here living live. Foremost, I got to thank Joey for l- lacing me with this new Cutthroat. Hey, yo, y'all get that on camera. Yeah, uh, we got all three of them, man. All three of y'all. The socks, the socks. You know what's funny is I hate Nike right now. So just shit. die. So I'm saying, that's my shit. Just die. Joey, how you doing, man? I've been, I've been good. I hey, know. A lot of y'all don't know is that when I was down bad, Fizz was there trying to pick me up, man. So just to see my boy here interviewing me, it's oh, a big man. blessing, nah, bro. Joey was, so before I got this job here at Dash, I this was is working Haruda, with the, uh, Eridura. Eridura. Shout out to Eridura. Eridura. Hey, I need some more when we come through here. Yeah. yeah Eridura, we got to drop some cases off in, in the beach. But nah, I used to work closely with Joey, and you taught me like most of what I learned in this game, to be honest with you. Like the first time I realized that rappers weren't really dating these IG models and they just were doing this shit for relationships to get likes. <laughs> I never and then oh I'm not gonna drop no names, but I can list you like bro, I don't think Cage or Kaylani and YG were dating, right? No, nah, maybe just, they were, but I don't I just you know They dropped two singles a these day they bitches broke up. is like a good purse. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's what I'm like saying. You person. taught me that. Yeah. You taught me that. You were the Eat first that. one who told And then okay. Sweetie and Quavo. We're not. You want to know what's even more money bigger than that? What? Money back in Ari. He wouldn't. That, that, all that uh, shit wouldn't be going so crazy if he didn't have Ari. That's what I'm saying. So I learned. You know what I mean? so, there's principles of the game that they can't teach you in school, that, that you can't learn just watching the charts. You know, exactly. There's other things I learned too, Joey. We're gonna keep those off the air. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Joey, man. The the reason I said the king of Long Beach is because compared to when you when you first popped as an artist, 2010, 11, 12, not a lot of people from those times have stayed alive and grown. And you have grown in your hometown. It's not even just a lot of people standing alive and growing. Is it's the fan base standing line growing. You gotta understand, like a lot of people who we started off making music for, they were in high school or even college, even they grown now. Mm, true. So how can we make that correlate to how they're living now? Yeah, yeah. And that was the problem. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's how I won more than anybody that came up in my era. Not, I'm not doing too much. I'm not gonna sit here and like I'm just doing the most. But no, you do I feel lot. like that's why I've. I still have a voice somewhat. Yeah. It's because it correlated over. I grew with them. And you know, if you watch the Daft Punk documentary, they say anything that's not progressive is eventually gonna die out. Yeah. That's absolutely. what everybody wants progression. Cause you have not only have you stayed relevant as far as people are looking for the albums, the people you work with. Like you put me on Blast. Mm-hmm. You put me on Larry June. I'm not gonna say you put me on Dave East, but I wasn't the biggest Dave East fan until I heard check in. Like I remember hearing check in on a uh, Chipper Jones four, and now I I listen to Davies, you know. So you you just always been tapped in. I, I, How do you stay tapped in with who's hot though? That's one thing I really am like. Blast, for example, like I didn't know about Blast. You had two records with Blast before I saw his name everywhere. Let, let, I'm gonna ask you a question. If those freestyle battles you had growing up correlated over into a music career, and you just fuck with people you fuck with. You know what I'm saying? And that's what make it seem like you're ahead of the bunch. Mm-hmm. But it's just more so like you putting that ego aside, like, oh, I'm Joey Fats, and just like, yo, let me work with this guy. You know what I mean? This yeah. guy's dope. And it's like, and Fizz was the, keep going with these high school, this nigga's undefeated, all right? I'm just let y'all know that. Undefeated and battling. Undefeated that's and true. battling. Hey, that's so true. if he was to take his rap career serious and just say, like, oh, you know, let's say um, uh, anybody come for a feature, but you who are who you are, who you work for to be this from high school to all these freestyle battles, and you just like, you know what? Fuck the fact that these guys aren't on the same plateau or popping as me, but the music is great. 
Yeah, and so that's you, why I care about music. I just care about music. Because you, the people you put on aren't people at the time who are necessarily like, oh, okay, I'm gonna put them on to tap in with his fan base. These are cats who are really dope, like Larry June. Music, mm -hmm. it just, yeah. it's just music, bro. Like, I, I when I dropped a Farrakhan record, Farrakhan grandson called me with Farrakhan on three way, and he told me he like. You talked to Farrakhan I talk to after Farrakhan. dropping the Farrakhan record. With I talked to Farrakhan. Uh, was Vince on the phone? Nah, Vince okay. wasn't on the phone. Farrakhan, he just is like. Uh, He's disappointed that he wasn't a, a part of it. Oh but, shit! But um, the fact that you know that uh, we doing all 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 of, all of this speaking and and everything that we're that that we're doing, but we're not. I'm trying to figure out a way to put it. Uh, first of all, he didn't like the cop getting killed. He don't like that. He he was like, mm -hmm. nah, nah, we don't do that. You know, we just here to preach the word and get on. But he, what so he, he but, really hit you on the lyrics. Yeah, it was more so wow. saying like he, how he came at me. It was humbling and it was it made me feel a lot better about myself because he said like basically I don't fuck with what you was doing. Like that was wrong. Like you should have contacted me using my name. Yeah. But you as a rapper, you have a bigger voice than I can ever have because oh, this wow. music travels. Like you it know, does, it yeah. takes someone to actually know who Farrakhan is or be invested into you know the nation in order to listen to what i got to say yeah. you know what i mean but with music you can make a person feel some type of way or Absolutely. you know and and it's going to travel amongst so he's just like you have a bigger voice than me and i just would want to be a part of it that's more so so it, you know. yeah that's still crazy you talk to farrakhan, farrakhan. wow that that's the, that's the fucking highlight of this whole interview my yeah. guy dropped the record called farrakhan and they got on three way with Farrakhan yeah. and Farrakhan Jr. His grandson is a good dude. His grandson is a great dude. His grandson is a great dude. <laughs> That's, you know what? Before we continue, I do this on all my interviews. I give the artist an album. I don't know if you've seen this, Joey. For you, it was so easy what album to give. It was a little hard to give it away, but I knew exactly what album I had to give you. Why are you looking, bro? It's hidden. It's hidden. I actually not because I've been chilling with you for an I brought hour. Joey, you didn't even tell me. I like. brought Joey the exclusive. You're the first artist to get two albums. I wanted to give you your favorite NIF album, if I'm correct, was The Marathon Continues. But then I had to give you that victory lap. Because I feel like Joey, the album, is, is your victory lap. I feel sense. like, and like Joey, I, the album, is the Crenshaw. The Crenshaw? I'm never going to take nothing away from this, bro. Because like, to get here, you know how much business that yeah. was not respected and... Even the filling myself video with Lloyd, they gave him a million dollar budget. But yeah. him being a street nigga, he like, I can shoot this video for two hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in my pocket. Absolutely. So that's me. That's like the same type. That's of why stuff. I wanted to give you Nip, bro. I, I haven't given Nip to anyone because it wouldn't be fair to compare somebody to Nip. But there's too many comparisons. Let's first comparison. We gotta get off the board. You know, you guys both Crips. Everyone's gonna say that, but that's not what it is, man. The way you built your brand, Cutthroat. To me, it, it's the closest thing, if not the, identical, to what he did with Marathon. But a lot of, I want what I want a lot of people to know is that even when Nip was here, thriving and doing everything he was doing, I was still doing this. The I same remember. Yeah. Type of I, I know you remember. You're my friend. Like yeah. this is me being interviewed by my friend. Okay, <laughs> let's just make that clear. So I know a lot of stuff I say. I know he knows, but it's just, just to put it in the forefront, like. This is something I've been doing, you know, yeah. and I don't want it to be taken as if I'm trying to follow somebody's blueprint, blueprint, even though I am. Let's just make that clear, I am. It's been a big fan of this guy, you know, so just to get these albums, it means a lot to me, you know what nah, I'm saying? Man, like, even Sam, Adam, yep. like, come on, look at this, bro. This yep. is me and my two brothers right here. Yeah. This, there, this no, me there's, and my two brothers. Joey, there's, you are the only, you are the, of all other artists in the game, the comparisons between you and Nip are crazy. He had a store in Inglewood, his hometown. You got a store in Long Beach, your hometown. He works with his family. Bro, you've been working with your family out the gates. Like, One of the most impressive things about Joey Fats to me is how many people you help and take care of and really build up. It's one of the craziest things. Like, You Man. hire people. And you somebody who I, I've been wanting to hire. I've just been trying to figure out a way to make it make sense. And it's on air. I don't care, man. Like, um, me, I get my boost, my work ethic, my motivation from those who believe in me. 
you know, like even JD, he's right here, I love for the screen. He, you know, he has a daughter who's starting school right now. Damn, you know what I mean? And, that's a beautiful thing. And she's old. I'm talking about to where, to where, like, not old, but she's 10, 11, 13. 13. To where she's able to understand what's going on. To where, yeah. like, that either you're doing some bullshit. Yeah, you, you need to be working. here or you're working. And it hasn't been that. It's been like, I'm going to go out here, baby. I'm going to make sure he's straight. I'm going to come back home, get you into school. He just came back. He just wow. landed yesterday. Shout out and to JD. Just bro. for the fact that Real somebody boy. is prioritizing. Things like that, when it comes to me, it makes me work harder. Like, it makes me want to go harder because there's a lot of people around me, not only who believe in me, I wouldn't even say depend on me because if I was in today, they're going to figure out a way because they hustle. Mm -hmm. But it's the easy way out, bro. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just no, make it music. A lot of people, man. Yeah, to, man. When you open your store in Long Beach, that to me was a monumental moment in your career. I, I don't know if you see it that way, do you? Because to me, I saw that as like, Joey is forever embedded in Long Beach, the culture and, and once, everything. Once we start saving these kids, that's when it's a monumental well, moment. Well, that's what's coming. Like, I see you opening up, you put in little What arcades. Kobe say? Well, no, what did he say? Job not done. Hey, I fuck with that. So <laughs> let's talk about the, the job that just got done that's getting released in a few weeks. Joey yeah, the man. album. Joey the album, man. We done, man. We, we, we here. You know what I mean? Executive produced by JD. You know what I mean? Uh, we got Christ on there. Pro Production-wise, I met. I, well, I ain't meet somebody, but it's someone who's been friends with JD for a minute, and he's been trying to put me on his type of beats, but I wasn't ready for it musically. Cause it's musically inclined. I'm talking about every four bars is progressing with oh, instruments, shit. some type of drums. So to where it's just like, it makes me, I don't have to just, I can't just rap four bars, eight bars, 12 bars, 16. I have to progress. I have to, it has to be a lead up to what I'm doing and he's making me rap better. And that's what wow. this whole Joey the album shit is about. Like. I, didn't, I was scared to call it Joey the album because, you know, when you say something my album, motherfuckers, they critiquing you. Absolutely. You know, but at the end of the day, man, I'm independent. You know, you've seen me, yep. you know, take this thing from nothing to something even. And that was just the last couple of years. So you just imagine where I was a decade from now. Yeah. You know, so it's just more so like the Joey the album is just really like a celebration, like of everything coming together and really making sense. You know Absolutely. Like you like, like, you know, everything about it, just from seeing you on the album covers, you all see on camera, Jack. This motherfucker is Jack. You see them arms? Don't play Yo, with we me. got security up front. They move quick. They just feel like, <laughs> nah, nah. But no, you just, see, it seems like it's all come together. That's nah, such a beautiful it's just, time. Nah, I, I turned 30 at last like, I know, I'm on the third, man. so it's just more so we, like we old now. I just yeah, turned thirty two. Remember exactly. our birthdays were yeah, always like exactly. a month apart. But that's what I, like that's why this album is special to me because it was a self realization as more so than anything, handle what's going on in real life. You know what I mean? Like go take care of yourself, go fight for your daughter, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, I'm going through a custody battle. But go fight for your daughter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely, man. Shout and, out to uh, baby go fight for everything Venice. you want, bro. Like, yeah. Hey, shout out to Venice, bro. You got a beautiful daughter. She every time I seen her, Venice was just happy, smiling, man. Um, you named her Venice because Venice Beach, right? Yeah, I used to sleep homeless up there, bro. That's one. That's what I wanted to bring up, man. What's so crazy is. You saying you used to sleep homeless in Venice Beach. Nobody brought you here. Nobody like like rolled up to Joey. How much money have you turned down from labels? I can't even imagine. Uh, my first offer was for eight hundred thousand in advance through Sony ATV Walter Jones, and I wasn't even a recording contract. It was for beats. You know, I make beats. A lot of people don't know I got a platinum play. Eight hundred thousand for the advance. production. My my wow. first advance deal was for production. And uh, me, 2021, I'm yeah. dumb as fuck for not taking that shit. But, you know, at the time, I had yams, and That's he amazing. seen me a lot greater than that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's bigger than that. You know, we doing this, but you bigger than that. And I don't know what he's seen in it that wasn't right. Probably they wanted 99% of my admin. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But uh, he's seen it in me, and uh, he told me not to take it. Josh yeah, even Velo, since you've turned down contracts. Yeah, I've, I've like... 
But you turn down. It's like you like every three months, Joey, turn it because you. I wouldn't you even own say turn shit, down. So it's just business is not there. It's no, like I, I, you understand what you work for in a sense. Yeah. You know, it's like the you know like like the fizz rap shit, like the stuff you're doing with the kids. It's just like even though it's probably not what they perspective to be as, but I've worked so long on this, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. You're not just about to come in and buy me out for some small amount of money. Absolutely. So it's just like, that's more so what it is. It's just like, I enjoy doing it, whether I'm making money off of it or not. Like, I'm not worried about making money off music. It's more so like creating an impact. No, but you're doing it the right. Every artist in the history of time towards the end of their career has said they wish they owned their masters. They wish they would have retained everything. Oh, I got everything. Because, you know, artists, you know, a lot of you fans might not know, artists are spending rent, uh, it's loans. They're taking loans. And yeah. then they go flex on you on the gram. Yeah, I don't and then know. they got to pay it back. And it's when they get quiet for six months on Instagram, album mode, you know? Look, man, only loan I need is for my niggas with good credit to go get something for me. Because I'm working <laughs> on my credit. <laughs> Look. That's the only loan I need. I got the capital, man. Look, yeah, and that's one thing I want, you know, everybody, minority, whoever's doing music to understand. Like, you got to play these people game, man. You got mm. you to go get your credit right. It ain't about yeah. who got the most capital. Because the person you think is stunned the most, he's doing that off credit, and he's writing that off. Absolutely. And getting all that money back later at the end of the day. So me being where I'm at in life, that, that's just what I want to preach on. Because I'm spending way more capital than necessary. You know what I mean? To have things that shit niggas who work at Chick fil A got. Like, niggas got Audis and foreign cars working at Chick fil A, but they got the foundation and the family that taught them about capital and about mm -hmm. economy and how it works. And, you know, and credit. I didn't have that growing up. You know, I come up from a poor family, so it was, it was just. That's what impressed me the most, man, is knowing the background you came from to where you've gotten to, and then seeing how many, like I said earlier, how many people you're just helping out constantly. Um, Cutthroat, Cutthroat, the store, you have sold out every single time you drop. Like, it, you can't even, I can't, you can't buy this shit if you wanted it. Nah, I, you couldn't go cop Cutthroat right now, anyway. That, that came from my house, that's my personal collection. That, those Yo, are, if y'all want this shit, it's gonna be on eBay in about three <laughs> hours, fam. Triple the markup. That's but my personal collection. Can we talk about the inspiration behind Cutthroat? I I know this, if I'm correct. You got it. It was it was an idea you and Yams had, right? Nah, no, 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 no. I've been uh, the Cutthroat stuff is something that's been of mine since I've been in in the streets. My oh, brother, since before you. Yeah, my brother and used to call themselves Cutthroat '99, like '99 oh. summer. This is when. Guerrilla Warfare drop with, you know, uh, Hot Boy. Yeah, yeah. Everybody wanted to be something. You got you got cutthroat, the Cutthroat Committee coming around. You got all these people. So it's just like everybody wanted to be cutthroat in a sense. It was a lifestyle, you know, like we cutthroat. And that's what just what we used to call each other back in the day. Like, okay. you know, sub cutthroat or, you know, like this, this is our lifestyle. We live a cutthroat lifestyle. So when my brother then went to prison, I remember it was when Chief Key first came out. That was my last brother was here, um, which is boy. He was right right before he did his prison stint. This is when I don't like by Chief Keep dropped out, and I was just let him know like, like look like even he's cut through in a sense, you know like yeah. you know it all can relate to everybody, and that's what we just ran with, bro. It's just like this is something that we've been representing. Let's just take it corporate, and that's what we did. And and Yams just seen like it. Hey, I didn't see it at the time, but Cutthroat, Death Row. Then the logo I ended up making ended up being like a rip of the Death Row. It's just like... Went on the chain, right? Yeah, like, yeah, I'm seeing something I didn't see. Like, he's yeah. seen a lot I didn't see. But now, yeah. like, me being who I am, I wish that I seen what he seen then because I think he'll still be here because we'd be rich, bro. Yeah. It's like, you, you, like, Fizz, I've been friends with you for, what, three years now? Yeah, three years now. Three years now, so I went from asking you a favor as of being down on my ass, like, yo, do this for me, to actually being able to make it happen on my own times 10. Times and, 20, man. And that's just yeah. the, I would just say the belief in self, bro, and mm -hmm. just the whole cutthroat module. Like, this is something that has not, has not been overnight. Like, and you know, this is something I've been working for for a decade, like at least a decade now. and. No, I, just I was about to say, benefits. bro, in one year, in one year, it will be 10 years from when Chipper Jones Volume 1 dropped. 
that's incredible, man, to see your growth and progression. Because I'm not going to drop names. Music but. is trash. I, no, you ain't got to drop names, but just talk no, about No, no, no. I'm just saying how many artists from back then, MIA, right? From 2011, 12, MIA, where you got projects with Dave Drop Beast, names. Steady. No, no, drop names. Stop, stop being shy. Scheme, for example. You remember Scheme? Yeah. I used to love Scheme. I you want to know the crazy thing about it? I, I you want to know the crazy thing about it is? You want to know the crazy thing about it is? I swear to God on my daughter, I reached out to Scheme for a feature for Chipper Jones one before it even was in the works. He was at a Drew Lee game. Like, this is how I know. I know it's like peace for fucking peace. He was at a Drew Lee game, bro, and told me 500 I couldn't afford it. Wow. And it never happened. And now he 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 pay you five hundred. That part, no, nah, five hundred, nigga. Come on now. No, no, I'm saying he'd pay you five hundred no. to get himself on your album. <laughs> no, no, nah, he <laughs> got paid more than that. Yeah. But man. that's what I mean, man. You've persevered, you know, way longer than the average rapper's supposed to. The average lifespan of a rapper is not ten plus years. That's why. That's one of the reasons I compare you to Nip is he owned all the shit. You own all of your shit. He was he was a likable person though. That's the difference. He was, a, he, he was a good man. He's from L.A. I, I'm playing from a small region, so, it, you know, the odds are against me. You lived in Long Beach, so yeah, you know, know bro. I know it's just Long like, Beach. So you, let's get this straight. You you taught me this, too. Long Beach and L.A. It's completely different. different places. We are L.A. County. I love L.A. I'm not going to say F.L.A. or I'm, I'm L.A., but, but Long Beach I'm is from different. Long Beach, so it's a completely different. It's yeah. two completely different like spots. Even if you talk to somebody from LA, let's say even from like 77th Division on towards Manchester, they treat Long Beach like it's a different fucking like nah, country state. You, like, you're absolutely right. And I, I always when I moved to Long Beach, I was like, yeah, I live in LA. I live in LA. Nah, I fuck out of here. And then I started working with you, and you really broke it down how growing up in Long Beach, you and cats from LA kind of looked at each other like yeah, it's, not the same. It wasn't the fact that we didn't look at each other not the same. We didn't get the same respect as LA cats. Mm -hmm. They thought that our politics were softer because we like to dye our hair. We like to wear skinny jeans, ride skateboards. We come from Terry Kennedy days. Yeah. When when, when Pharrell was coming down there doing. Ice cream, uh, skateboard. Yeah, damn. So to day. work, that's what we wanted to do. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, even though was niggas skating? was thugging, but this, we wanted to be fly. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, that's yeah. what we perceived as fly. BBC, blonde hair, whatever you want to color your hair. But these LA dudes, they were like, oh, you guys are sweet, long bitch. Like, that's their favorite quote, long bitch. I had never heard that in my life till now. Long yeah. start but you start dealing with politics in LA. But at the end of the day, I love LA. It's not like, you know what I mean? It's not like something that I resent. I've been in LA since I was 16 years old, so it's no, like you half of LA me. as it gets, bro. Yeah, no, no, this is like my second home. I let everybody know that. I know everything about LA, yeah. top to bottom. It's just more so like, I just hate how they section the city off. Mm. 